Whoa, you're pretty good at those, dude. Good stuff. And I've just been rocking back and forth. What are you doing? You're going underneath me? This is, this is unbelievable. Is this what like lift, if you're a dad, is this what lifting is like? Oh, we're so good. Perfect. What's up, YouTube? Back with another day. And we are in beautiful Fort Myers, Florida. So much better here. So much warmer. Uh, we took a couple cuts off the tee and now we're going to rip um, some dynamic effort upper body. It's a pretty chill day. The Wednesday is a uh, little bit lower key. So we're about 40 minutes. Rip this in 40. Uh, you want to tell people who you are, Mr. Longball BP? <laughs> yeah. So my name is Kyle and my Instagram is Longball BP, but essentially I'm a, a teacher and a guy who loves softball. I was a strength conditioning coach for 12 years before I moved to Florida. I've been here for three years now and I'm just focusing on getting back into the strength training aspect of of something that's going to help with softball. So as much uh, as you like softball, that's that's kind of where I'm at as well. He, I, he I is my Yoda. Too. <laughs> yeah, I, he, is, uh, he is the one that has taught me from my trash swing up into the real swing. How did we first get connected? It was through Instagram? Yeah, it must have been. I was trying yeah. to think. I. I was, I was talking to my dad about that today too. I don't know exactly. The very first one, yeah. yeah. But I'm then we sure. BP'd two years ago now. Yeah. With money, randomly. Like we just yeah. met up at a park and yep. BP'd. And then last Corky's year, Corky's. Last year. Yep. And now we're, now we're, oh, and we had Hit Tracks. And we had the yeah. Hit Tracks yep. tournament. Yep. 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 So we did the Hit Tracks tournament. And now, we're, now, now I moved in with him and I'm staying <laughs> in Florida forever. So, um, yeah, we're going to rip it, hit some upper body here. And, um, then we got some league night tonight, and Perfect, we'll yeah. see if we can get some content there, and then big tournament Saturday. Yeah, eight, uh, eight. The schedule got released today. I know you saw that. Yeah, yeah. But we play five straight games. <laughs> then we have three games off, and then we play three more straight games. Over under how many hammies we pull in? <laughs> Me? I know it won't be over I, two. I, I got, I got <laughs> I have zero. <laughs> two. <laughs> so hopefully we stay alive with that, but it should be fun. Is it? So it's eight games total. Yes. And then. Is it single elim or is it just straight eight? Yeah, games? How so does the way it, work? it works, you, you play a round robin against the seven teams or the other seven teams yep. in your pool, and then the best team from pool A plays against the best team from pool B for all the marbles. One of one. Oh, so you have to win your you pool. You have out. to win your pool to play for first. For that if, last one. Yeah, if you get second in your pool, you play the other second place. Oh, okay, so you first. always get a one last game, though. If you finish top three. Oh, if we, if we finish four or worse, then you should sign on and enjoy your eight games and get up out of here. <laughs> All right, so look, we're going to play nine games and we're going to win yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Boom. Everything you say can and will be used for camera. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> we got these pizza presses. We're going 15 rep maxes. How's our first set there? <laughs> nice and spicy. Yeah, good, yeah. good warm-up set. Yeah, we thought we were doing a warm-up set. It turned into a working set real quick. Everything 15 rep max is kind of a working set, not going to lie. So we got 45, just threw a little five-pound plate on top. And we'll see what our third set kind of looks like. A little rotational here. Oh, it's like this. You got some open palm strength. Oh, nice and rotational with that shoulder. Ooh. Worst with the 15 rep max is the count. I always lose count. Oh, I'm losing. Wow. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, 15, 15 of having anything. Anything, man, that's cardio. We got two weeks of 15 rep maxes. I've been bitching about them all week on camera. Oh my God. Here we go. Hey, buddy. Nothing. <laughs> Sup, dude? Nothing like uh, nothing like content. Yeah, this is the noodle monster. The noodle monster, the organic. Uh, I'm gonna throw a. All right, Patty, back away, buddy. Ten. Oh, the heat. It's fine. Um, so we got 40 chin-ups this week, 40 pull-ups last week. Um, just gonna load it up every set that we do. Oh, what is what this? What is that from? I know. I don't know. I got one on here too. From the Neo. I wonder if one of the plates was oil. Oh, no. Yeah. You know what it is? It's uh, bike chain grease. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That looks it cool. It got us. Yeah, we kind of look like we're, uh, we're working hard. Mechanics, <laughs> <sighs> no. <sighs> Man, the wrist. From those pizza press? Yeah. Sore. Fatigued. Yeah, it's like a different, uh, 
different pressing pattern. My goodness. What's up, dude? Oh, you're gonna leave me hanging? You're gonna leave me hanging? Yeah. Whew. Nice. Good, man. He's good for a set. All right. We'll do these plyo push ups. All right, then we got these plyo push ups. Um, just dropping down, coming back up. We got five sets of three here, ripping these. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, is this a little pitcher? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Have you ever seen those? Uh -uh. Those are perfect. Really? Yeah, because they'll throw the exact same pitch every time. It's the best. Gonna hop up, hit a set. Doing them? <laughs> nice, that's not bad. A little spinal mobility with these. Uh, I think I stole these from Medicine Through Movement. Okay. We're going here, threading the needle through. This way, uh, Kyle said he found parts of his back he didn't know it could snap on this one, <laughs> and I agree. Uh, just twisting there, coming this way. Twisting there. We're on a quest for 120 miles an hour, and this is gonna basically get us there. What do you think, man? Are you gonna do one too? Oh, you gonna hop up for a set? <laughs> oh, I'm lightheaded from those. Oh. I'm finding myself, like, once I get to a certain spot, I need to, like, brace to push through. The push through, yeah. yeah. That's like, how the PVC pipe is nice, too, because you can rip. But those, uh, those pool noodles are nice. You kind of thread your, the needle keeps better. Keep your hands in the right spot. Yeah. But how about the, the lather, dude? You don't get that lather, <laughs> Patty, after this set, I'll go in and get you one cut up, and you can have it, okay? That's a pretty good deal. Put some cream cheese on there? What you gonna put on there? You like cream cheese? That's the move. All right, last set here. What is this, 55 pounder? 25 kilos, it sounds easier, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we want it to sound harder. <laughs> oh, it's 200, yes. 200 pounds at least. <laughs> Whoa! Thank you for saving me. <laughs> I saw that other corner of my eye. I'm like, I'm dying. Yeah. Woo. Whoa, you look are. at you. You are. Woo. All right. Dad just shaved four reps. <laughs> <laughs> you just call it a cluster. Yeah. You hit them later. Yep. Oh, my left arm is so much weaker. That's right. I tried to start with that guy. That's a grinder. I'm gonna blame it on the Florida heat. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Oh. You like those? Oh yeah. God. Where'd I get those? Evil BP. <laughs> Sponsor. Sponsorship. Sponsor us, please. <sighs> we don't have them right now. You gotta go over there. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, is that three of those? Ooh. Cooking. It's a sauna in here. That's yeah, good. I is. like that. It feels awesome. You get that sweat going. A little pump. Ooh. It's 30 degrees warmer in here than it was this morning. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. It is. <laughs> So we'll do, we're gonna hit little pump series here before Kyle has to go pick up his daughter. We'll do some pike push-ups. So Kyle's gonna be ripping the pike push-ups and then I'll do the reverse curls here. 15 reverse curls, eight pike push-ups. Okay. Just pumping it out. Perfect. Yeah, let's do it.
should I push this forward a little bit? Or yeah, yeah, it? wherever. I, I didn't know where, where the setup was. This way, bud. Like this? Yep, yep. And then, yeah, more as vertical as you can get. Perfect. <laughs> Those are nice. Those feel good. How are those? Those, that's tough. Spicy? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's tough. Because uh, the, the natural reaction is to flatten out. So I, I know, I know, trying to stay high is stay, tough. Yeah. You did a pretty good job though. That was, you're pretty vertical. Oh. All right. This right here yeah you can write those i did reverse because last week i did normal ones but oh sure the normal ones feel better i think they give you a better pump tell you to do them push-ups i get to like number four and i was like holy smoke <laughs> yeah, those were, i think i'm gonna go one i'm thinking i'm gonna put the plates on the red for my second set to get a little bit more get a little higher range of motion yeah really get her down there yeah that's where it's that bottom range oh, oh yeah it's brutal you get freaking spicy there it's brutal dude it's almost like a, you got to grind through an isometric just to <laughs> get it started. Oh, yeah, those are nice. Especially after those plate presses. There's so many gym fails of people doing those on like light kettlebells. Yeah. And the kettlebells just shake Wobbly. and they just completely Yard collapse. Sale. It's so funny. No saving. No. Saving. no. We got, Kyle just had to leave because he's a family man and uh, had to pick up his kid, but we got a, like a 30 minute pump in there. It was pretty fun. Was that fun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got little Kyle over there ripping it. Um, but yeah, got a pump in. This, uh, this sauna or this uh, garage just kind of turned into a sauna and it's beautiful. Like Kyle was saying, you don't even have to warm up in here. You just walk in here and it's like 90 degrees. It's beautiful. So we're gonna just hop down, finish off the glaze series here. Then we'll get into some of mobility stuff. We got top down here. We got 15 reps here. Top down, lateral raise, rotating. Just through here, oh, getting some uh, some trap work, some lateral delt work in here, money. What's up? You found a you found an ant? Is that what you're saying? No, another one. Oh, another one. Who? Why are you holding that on the on your exercise? Uh, my mic, the furry thing. Yeah. Uh, so they can hear me. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, all he cares about is the bagels. Woo! All right. Boom. All right, let's get to some of the mobility stuff here. Um, so we did all kind of the main stuff. I still got 20 push pull-ups yet, so we're going to do some pull-ups. I got some neck isos. I got a uh, hamstring iso. And um, I think s there's something else that I'm missing, but we'll get to all of that. What's up? You want to know what a pull-up is? Yeah, I'll show you. We'll, we'll keep it rolling. He wants to know what a pull-up is. So, right here, you put the dumbbell here. This is gonna be a chin up though. We're gonna go here, we're gonna go here. Boom, 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 woo. How's that? Pretty good? Rolling, rolling. Woo. All right, now we'll get to the other stuff. I don't think he's very interested in working out, actually. All right, we got four-way and range neck isos. I've already done them off camera with, uh, with the little kid over here, but we're gonna go here, find your end range. These are better with a partner pushing down, but you're gonna find your end range, and you're gonna hold that end range for one minute. So we'll be here, hold for a minute, 
pulling deep down into it. You can really, on these ones, pull that other shoulder down, feel that stretch here. I'm gonna do the same thing, one minute, end range in this position. One minute, end range in this position. And then one minute, end range in this one. This one's the hardest to do by yourself. But you can kind of stay up just like that, pulling back into it. So, really like neck training, especially if you're doing anything rotational wise. <laughs> All right, one sec, one sec, okay. But anything rotational-wise, um, I've got like whiplash-like symptoms from before in hammer and in uh, um, swinging. Jeez, can't even remember what I'm swinging. But in swinging or yanking that neck, which obviously I keep my eyes on the ball and that won't happen. But a lot of neck work helps with that. So now I'm staying through and I'm not breaking as much. And also, just if you're sitting at a desk all day, those, those neck stretches and neck mobility is huge for if you're stiff all day in this position, your neck sore all day, that's one that you can definitely add in. It's gonna feel super nice when you're done with it. Like I feel really nice and loose and it's gonna build up for the future if you are a performance athlete. Um, I'm not totally sold on the whole concussion things and the neck. I think it's an important piece. I think everything's an important piece, but um, the study itself is kind of a little sketchy where it's like for every one pound of neck tension increase, it's like a 100% chance of decreased concussion, something like that. I, anytime there's a one simple answer to a simple solution that is like a complex problem like concussions, which NFL is putting millions of dollars into, um, it's probably not that simple as just training your neck. Um, that doesn't mean training your neck is a bad thing. I, I think it's a good thing, that's why I'm training my neck, but it's probably not the miracle cure that we're looking for there. But anyways, if you're stuck at a desk, sitting all day, you're kind of crunched up like this, um, or you're just an athlete and your neck feels tight or weak, these end range stretches are really, really nice. Last week we did all the reps just like that, that four way. Um, now you can hold at that end range, pulling down into it and just loading it in a variety of ways. The manual resistance is really nice because you really can't push it past, right? So if you're just doing it yourself here, you really can't push past. Whereas a lot of times when you're doing weights, um, I've noticed this with athletes, if you're doing weights, a lot of times they'll load up too much for what they're not used to and they don't feel it then, but then the next day their neck is sore and a sore neck is different than like a sore bicep. Like a sore bicep, you're like, oh man, my biceps are sore. When you have a sore neck, a lot of people freak out and they're like, oh my God, I did something to my neck. It's like, is this a sore muscle, right? but like you feel super stiff and tight and you don't really love that feeling. So gradually progress your neck training. Don't go too far too often. Otherwise the next day you're gonna walk all locked up. If you do walk all locked up the next day because you did push it too far, it's probably just a sore muscle in the neck, right? So you don't have to freak out that you herniated anything or you did anything wrong. Don't go to a fucking like Cairo instantly. I, I'm not a doctor, so I can't give that advice, but I wanna recommend it just to wait like a day or two, just like you would a sore muscle. You'll probably be fine. Keep it moving and go from there. But anyways, that's our neck training philosophy. Um, those are really nice. Feel amazing from those. Let's keep going. All right, last thing we got today. I don't even know what to tell it. It's like a rocking split lunge. Um, it's just kind of got what we got for equipment here. Oh, don't touch that though, please. Thank you. You're the best. All right. Last thing we got today, we're going to go these split lunges. You want to hit these with me? What, what did you say? That little lunge we did. You want to try it with me? What? Yeah. That little split that we did. Remember what we're holding here? So we're going to come here. Yep. We're going to hold this lunge position here. We're rocking, rocking in and out of this. We got a two minute hold on this one. Grab it on. I just grabbed on this rack, holding on to them earlier. Whoa, you're pretty good at those, dude. Good stuff. And I've just been rocking back and forth. What are you doing? You're going underneath me? This is, this is unbelievable. Is this what, like, lift, if you're a dad, is this what lifting is like? Huh? Bro, how, you're beating me. What in the world? Oh. Ouch. That's what I'm saying. Ouch. Bro, you can almost go all the way down. You're nuts. Oh. Ooh, two minute stretch here. I'm gonna go off of that back foot just a little bit more so I can keep sinking in. Oh, that's pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what does your phone say? That's so, when it says two minutes, you gotta tell me, okay? Okay. It says 120. Oh my goodness, this is hard. Oh yeah, Woo -hoo. you were supposed to tell me that too. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll do a little goodbye message and we'll go from here. So that's a full day, it's pretty quick, just a ripper, like every Thursday. Uh, get some mobility work in, get some spine work in, get a lot of swings in, uh, get some pumping, dude. It was a great day, had, uh, 
had the kids with us today. It was a blast. Like they're, <laughs> they are a riot. Uh, I, I love seeing like kids, individual kids' personality and just seeing like trying to fast forward 10 years, like what that's going to turn into. He's just going to be a savage. He's going to be a beast. But um, yeah, uh, it's kind of cool seeing the vision of what I had for YouTube come true already, uh, which is traveling and then bringing people on and lifting with them. Kyle only had 30 minutes. It's the life of a dad again, life of a family man. So he had to go pick up his kid. Um, but tomorrow we're gonna have a little bit more time and he's gonna go through a whole clean progression. So he's, that's his, he owned a whole uh, weightlifting gym, had a youth national team um, for Olympic lifting. So he's going to run us through cleaning tomorrow and then teaching us how to clean and go through those progressions. So that'll be a really cool video. Um, I'll, basically I'm gonna try and give him the reins and uh, make it more of a, I'm trying to bump like instructional type video tomorrow and then maybe we hit some of the lifts after or I make two videos, we could even make two videos, you never know. Um, I'll piece it together tomorrow when I wake up. We got some league night tonight um, that I'm excited for. Get my first opportunity to play some Florida ball. Swing's feeling good. Um, this will be the first kind of live pitches in a game setting outdoors I've seen this year. So I'm sure we'll have some hiccups, we'll have some Greasy spots we got to work out, but I mean, we'll continue to go. Kyle is a beast of a softball player. He, he plays for one of the, the best teams down here. He's a, he's a dog. Um, and when I say he's my Yoda, he actually has taught me from the moment I started playing softball. He was the first one to like reach out and be like, hey dude, you should start doing some of these things and start doing some of these things. And as I've progressively got better, he keeps giving me tips that allow me to kind of see things and simplify things I didn't understand. I really think that's the power of a coach. Kyle has never overstepped. He's never said you need to do this. You need like forcing me to do anything or saying anything's bad. Um, and it's kind of cool to have a coach, a, a mentor in the softball world for myself to have and just see the power of a coach that has, it's very hands off. Like we live a thousand miles away and he's made a significant impact on my swing. And it's super cool to see how important a coach can be by just sharing information, not even like being the rah rah person, literally just sharing information, sharing tips, sharing suggestions, try this, try that. Um, look at this drill, look at this swing, like this, this is what I see here. Um, and then allowing the athlete to digest the information, do something with it, make changes. So it's been really cool. It's been a fun um, journey. It's kind of cool to see everything kind of collide. Um, Instagram blows my mind all the time. Social media blows my mind all the time. Just the random like connections that you would have never had if you didn't have social media, I know there's a lot of bad on social media. I, I feel a lot of the bad on social media all the time. I get it. But there's so many cool positives. Like I would never be here without social media. I would never be at this house playing softball without social media. Um, and just really cool connections. And if you put out good energy and put out good content, you get to meet a lot of really cool, really awesome people. So that's a positive of social media. If, if you're trying to battle the negative, battle the negative with some positives. And um, embrace the cool stuff that you can have. Okay, so tomorrow we'll be back. Um, I'll update you on some league night after that. And um, let's rip, let's keep ripping. I'm gonna enjoy this sun this whole week. And um, we'll kind of go from there. Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys supporting. Boom. Bring Kyle Hunt, not a boy. Let's go. I'm at the U. Good spot, Kyle. Yo.